Hi right, folks, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel. If this is your first time here, what we're doing is taking Pixar Cars Cars, or in this case, Miss Fritter, and changing it into something else. For example, this is Miss Fritter in honor of the fabulous Doc Hudson. We have a whole collection of fabulous cars here. We took every car we could think of and turned it into a, a tribute to Doc Hudson. There's fabulous Saxon Storm, fabulous Mater, and so on and so on. If this is your first time here, you have no idea what we're doing, but we're taking these cars and we're changing them into something else. Look back here, we have all these fancy cars here. These are the Crazy 8 cars from Cars 3. For example, there is Hit and Run. And there are actually Grimms from Cars 2. And there is Pushover, that's actually Leakless, one of my favorites. And there's Arby, Arby or Arby, I forget. Um, he's actually Fillmore. And over here, ch folks, check it out. There's all kinds of other cars here. We didn't have room for them over there. This is actually, believe this or not, this is Mater. And Mater's turned into Miss Fritter. This is all Play-Doh. Miss Fritter, the school bus of doom. And down here we have, let's see, we have a trip to Doc Hudson from Dusty the, from Plains. This is actually number 51. And we have um, Next Generation Lightning. This is actually Jackson Storm painted red. And what we did in our last video, we took a Ferrari California, assembled it, and put this nice pinstripe on it. And what we're going to do today, believe it or not, is take this all apart again and paint it Ferrari yellow. So we're going to strip this down again, paint it Ferrari yellow, and put a black pinstripe on here and change the wheels because it came with two sets of wheels. We're putting black wheels on this time to match that yellow. So let's take this all apart over on the other desk and we'll get ready to prime it with a nice gray primer. Okay, here's a Ferrari here. There's only one screw hole to get together because there's only one screw in the kit the other day. So it's going to take one, one screw out here. Okay, and the whole bottom comes off. I'm going to pop out the windows. They came pretty easily. And the dash. And I'm going to make another windshield up with eyes on it, just like up there. And let's see, I'm going to take out these door panels. That should be pretty easy. It sure is easy to take apart after putting it together, for sure. There's one, and I'm going to paint this nice primer gray. And then we'll put the nice two coats of yellow paint on it. And then put the pinstripe on it. That's going to be pretty cool. There we go. Windshield. I'll take this one out. There we go. Now all the windows are out. I'm not going to bother sanding out this. I'm going to try and scrape it off a bit. And I'll take out these little um, pieces here. I'll put them in later again. And the grill, of course. And see if I can get the back tail lights out. And there's the other. Let's see if I can scrape the paint stripe off. Okay, it's coming off pretty good with the razor. I'll just scrape it off as much as I can so it's not a big bump there before I put the new black stripe on. Just using, I'm not really care about how the paint looks now because I'm gonna repaint it anyway. And this hood opens up. Let's see if I can get it off a little better. Now, if I was gonna do this professionally, I'd sand it off with a sander and um, buff it down right nice and smooth. There, pretty much all came off. What I'm gonna do first though is cover up these nice uh, Ferrari headlights with some tape. There, the only thing I cover with tape is the headlights because um, they didn't come apart. So now I'm gonna take this over and put a coat of primer on this in a good ventilated area that doesn't um, get uh, too messy in here. That's what happened last time. I got all kinds of uh, spray, overspray on everything. Okay, let's get it set up. Okay, here goes the try. I hope we got enough paint in here. Primer first, as I always do. So the yellow will stick really nice to it. This paint is really nice primer and it dries really fast. And I can't wait to put the stripe on it, the black stripe. There, there's a primer. I'm not gonna put too much on this because I have to cover it with two coats of paint anyway. I just wanna get the, the gray on it just to make sure it covers really good. There's a body of a primer uh, Ferrari California. That looks pretty good, guys. A little more right here, I think. There we go. Now let that dry and we'll come back and we'll spray paint the first coat of beautiful Ferrari yellow. I hope you don't mind me doing these bigger cars, folks. I really like doing them. Um, they take a long time, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, we'll leave it dry and we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll put a coat of yellow on it. And while that's drying there, I want to show you this. I picked this up last year at Winners as well. 
Um, it's actually, it looks like Mater, it's not really Mater, but it's kind of a similar sort of a shape to Mater. And I'm gonna assemble it and paint it as well someday. Let me know what you think. Should I paint that rusty brown like Mater or or to paint it a nice shiny color. What do you think? I don't want to put it together with that color. So give me your suggestions. What color will I paint this Mater look-alike? Okay, the paint has dried really nice on this here, the primer primer color. Now I'm gonna try and put the uh, first coat of Ferrari Yellow. It's not really Ferrari Yellow, it's just uh, paint up out of this door. Okay, I hope this turns out good. Just remember to shake it up really good before you start, folks. And here goes. Not too much overspray, I hope. Hold well, on, pretty good. Definitely gonna need two coats though. Looking good, guys. This is a great idea. Okay, spin it around. I actually want to make another windshield for it with, instead of having, uh, I want to have eyes in the eye, eyes for a windshield instead of uh, the plexiglass windshield it came with. Okay, here goes. Nice. Who else is doing this? Has anybody, have you seen this anywhere on the internet where we take these cars and paint them and like change their colors? Because this might be something really cool. Okay, that first coat went really nice, as you can see. It's pretty warm because I had the heat lamp on top of it. I'm like, here's my light, let's put it on top of it to help it dry faster. And um, I'm just going to put another coat on right now and then leave it for quite a while. It's not 100% dry, it's a little bit tacky, but it'll take the second coat no problem. So here's my paint again. And I'm put a nice second coat on that will finish off the yellow. This beautiful Ferrari, I call it Ferrari yellow, but it's not really, it's just yellow. But it looks like Ferrari yellow. It's going to be really good. It's Ferrari California. You can actually buy it in this yellow too. I'll put that nice black stripe on later too. It may have to leave it sit for quite some time before I put the tape on. Stand the front up just for a second. So I can get the front in there pretty good. You ready? Here it goes. There. Wow. Don't want to miss any of it. Now I'll turn it around and get the back. Actually, it's sprayed over the sticker that was there that said California. That's okay. The mirrors didn't come with any lenses, so the mirrors are kind of blank right now. There should be something there, but it's not. Okay, guys, that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to put too much paint on this to make it too thick. It'll take forever to dry. And I'm just going to put the light over for a while. Make sure it's good and dry before I put the black stripe on. There. Nice. Wow, look at that paint. That's beautiful. Okay, guys, I'll come back. And we'll put the black stripe on the hood of the roof and the back bumper, the back, uh, back here when it's good and dry. Okay, we're back, guys. Let's have a look. It's under the heat lamp for about an hour. It should be pretty dry. And it's probably pretty warm. It's stuck pretty good, too. Let's see what it is. Okay, here's what we have. We have the beautiful paint on the Ferrari. Fairly dry. Now, what I'm going to do next, actually, I want to show you this here. I made, Off camera, I made this here set of eyes for the Ferrari when we're done. I'm gonna put that on there. But I also had the windshield to go in too to make it look like a professional Ferrari, so it's back in place. But I really like the eyes. They're gonna fit in right perfectly when we're done. Get a nice look, different look on it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put some tape on here and put the black stripe on, I've been talking about. And I'm gonna spray paint this time instead of using a brush. I'm gonna be very, very quick about this because the paint is not 100% dry. I don't wanna hurt it. The tape is right here. I'm gonna put a piece of tape the whole length Another piece, the whole length, and a little strip in the middle to make a make a double pin stripe. Okay, let's get the tape ready. I'm gonna put the stripe on the same as the last one, right down the length of the car, right over the hood, right next to the spoiler, right next to the the hood scoops, right there. And I hope that's straight. I'm gonna cut the tape this time so it doesn't doesn't make a mess like last time. Okay, how's that look? I don't want the tape to stick on the car and ruin the paint either. That'll make an awful mess. See right there is where I made the mistake. And let's see how the other one looks. This is uh, the hardest part. Get the strike perfect. Okay, that doesn't look pretty centered there. And I'm gonna do this here this time. I'm gonna cut the tape here and here and stick it down. 
same as that. I'm going to cut it here and here and fold it down. So it doesn't get... So it actually does a better job, actually. We don't get underneath the tape. Because before, it went underneath the tape, it made a real mess. Okay, that's okay. And now I'm going to get a thin piece of racing stripe to get on the middle so that um, I'll have two stripes on the car. Just make sure it's this centered as best as I can. That's pretty good, guys. Not perfect, but it's good. Okay, I'll cut that right there. Now I have to make sure the rest of the car is protected because I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna use a spray can, so there'll be black paint everywhere. So I'm gonna have to um, cover up the car so no overspray gets on anything. And I have to take it off right away when I'm done so the paint doesn't stick. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty fun. Okay, so I gotta make sure no paint goes down there either, if we can help it. Just right on the edge. Okay, now I also wanna cover this up. And right here. Okay, let's get the black spray paint. Sorry with the hands in the picture, here goes. Here goes, got it. This better work good. Okay, that's all I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna peel it off right now and make sure it didn't make a real mess. Perfect. Don't mind the mess of me here. Oh, Darren, I got some on the front. So I didn't want to do. I guess I can patch that up. There, except for this spot right here. I'll have to work on that when it's dry. Okay, we're gonna leave that just like it is, and we'll, uh, we'll fix that up later, and uh, then I can assemble it back together. Okay, put the heat lamp on it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try and patch this little mess right here. Got the yellow, yellow brush. Oh, big mistake. Okay, now I gotta patch that up. I got uh, some black paint removed by mistake with my stupid idea I had there. Uh, it's gonna be tough guys getting this fixed up. Now it's going downhill. I shouldn't have put the tape on top, the paper on top of that. That came pretty good. Now I'll clean the brush and I'll try to fix up the yellow part. I'm surprised it came that good actually. Okay, here goes the yellow. I won't try that part again where I put the paper on it to guide it. There, that's nice. Okay, and a little more on the hood. Right here. Yeah, that was a mistake. I'll leave it dry for a couple of hours. Next. Make sure it's really good before I put it back together. There, what do you think? The stripe looks good. I'll put the stuff back together. It'll look even better. Now here's the eyes I made for when I'm finished. That's gonna look pretty cool. Okay guys, we'll let this dry for a long time, then we'll come back and put it together. Okay, I made a half decent recovery there. It's not too bad. I got the spots on the bottom filled up. Now it's under the heat lamp again for, for quite some time. Leave it set. Okay guys, we're all set to put this back together. I think it's dry enough. I'm just gonna try and get out the paint. Get the tape from the headlights first. Start there, because they were covered because they're the only parts that wouldn't come off. And now I'm gonna put the grill in place. The grill just slides in. Just, oh, sorry about that. Just like this here, I hope you had that on camera. Look at that, beautiful so far. And I have a triangle that goes in this side here with the indicator light. The other one I kind of broke taking it off, so I'm gonna to have to glue it in place later. I'll try and see the sticks in place. It might stay. Yeah, it stays in place, good. No, nope, that's perfect, okay. And now I'm gonna put the dash in place. Actually, the windshield was in first. I'll put the windshield in first, and I think it just drops in. Like this. Yeah, I'm actually gonna put the dash in right now first because that's even easier. There, the dash goes in just to get there. And the back window is probably the hardest. I'll put that in pops in place. Yeah, that was pretty hard. 
Now the back tail lights, one of them actually broke off inside, so I'm gonna have to put this one in. That one came nicely, and this one here, I may have to glue that on. It's not gonna be as good as this one, because it broke right when I was taking it out. See it? Right there, it broke. So I literally had to break the piece to get it out. I'll have to glue this in later. I might stick with the paint right now, so it might stick on. Really nice, okay, it is sticking. Okay, now, let's see, let's tape these off. There's the headlights. That looks good. Now the windshield, well, actually the inside of the doors first. They're gonna just snap over the pins in there. There, the inside of the doors are done. Doors closed, there you go. The mirrors are perfect. Now let's put the windshield in. It goes right down in here, the slots, and slips in place, take this here. Perfect. Now I can put the bottom on, the wheels. Actually, I'm going to change the wheels, right, to black wheels. So let's take out these four tires and wheels. There we go. The four tires and wheels are off. Now to take the tires off, you just squeeze the, the tire off the rim. Okay, there's the four wheels off. I'll put these wheels away because we have four black wheels. We made yesterday. Two back ones, two front ones. Let's put the tires on. The small tires go on the front. Okay, now I'm going to take the front ones and put them on this assembly. Watch this germ wheel here. There it is. Okay. Slide it right on. There's one. Let me slip right over the rim. Right over the axle, I mean, and the steering wheel works actually, watch. It's amazing, I never thought it would, but it did. Back ones. There, the back wheels are on. Okay, now the top just fits on the frame like this, and pops in place. Perfect. And one screw goes in right here. I'm not gonna put that in today because we're gonna take it apart again eventually paint it. So let's have a look at the car. Black wheels, let's get a good close-up look of it. The black wheels on it came pretty nice. The stripes are just about perfect. And I actually made up a set of eyes for the windshield. I'm gonna install that right now and see how it looks. There, now it looks like a regular car from Pixar Cars. What do you get that, guys? Let's uh, go over and compare it to the rest and we'll finish up. Well, there you have it, guys. This is the Ferrari California, yellow with a black stripe and um, some fancy eyes on it. It came pretty nice in the black wheels as compared to what it was before. The now let's take off the eyes again and it's actually a really nice looking Ferrari California car. Somebody noticed earlier that the, some of the cars I have were RC cars. Yes they are. Some of these big cars are remote control but this is not. This is actually a kit car. And uh, I have some more stickers. If I do this car again, I'm going to do it in red like Lightning McQueen. And I have some really nice envelopes for decals that can go on the engine hood. Look at that. The piston cup could fit right on the hood if that was red like Lightning McQueen. And some, some lightning bolts for the sides. That's pretty cool. And 95 for the roof. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. It was really long to, to make. It took about five hours. I hope you didn't mind. I know it's short when you see it, but it's only uh, it's only edited that way. But it uh, took all day to get the paint to dry. And it came pretty nice. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And see if you like this Ferrari California. Thanks for watching, guys. And have a great day.